Here's a great spot. Cobbled streets are always interesting, aren't they? Particularly when they're bordered by some lovely old buildings like we've got going on here. And when you're stood right in the middle of the street, if you can go into the middle, Janie, that's it there, you've got quite a nice shot looking straight down there. And as with the Priory, you've got a natural leading line coming on down here, leading you into the street. But it could be improved massively because there's a very, very powerful leading line already going on down the edge of the picture. If you come over to the side here <coughs> and come forward a little bit, Janie, there we go, about there, you've got these double yellow lines just sort of running off up the street and the curbstone just there. Now they can be used to put a line into the picture which will give you an awful lot more power. So what I would suggest is put the camera down very, very low. We're going on the ground again, right in between the yellow lines and the curbstone. And then just sort of tilt it back up so that the, the lines are coming in through the bottom of the shot. But we've also got a bit more of the buildings going on here. So that's okay, if I just move to one side, you can see, you can look off down the shot and these lines in the bottom are leading you into it. But simply by rotating your camera just a bit, I'll come in close so you can see. Let's say the camera's like this. If you just turn it a few degrees to the right, then what will happen is these lines will start to come in on the left of the picture rather than either side. So let's just turn the camera to the right a bit which will include a little more of the wall. Now these lines are more on the left. We've got the shot bordered by this wall. The lines are taking you off down the street, which you can see kind of, I don't know, somewhere around here, which is more the top left third of the shot. So that's a really, really simple way of using a lead in line and just thinking yourself through the movements, but be subtle with them. If you go too far, it can start to look rubbish. For example, if you turn the camera again just a little more to the right, then what's going to happen, you've still got a lead in line and the curb edge is going to be strong, but I'd say there's too much wall going on. The picture isn't of the wall, it's of the pretty little cobbled street. So if you just bring it back again, you can have a last look at that and I'll just step out of the way for you so you can look at the picture as a whole. I think you'll agree that's a lot better. Now let's see if we can find something where you don't have to grovel on the ground. Yes, I know I look like I'm posing, but I promise you there are no girls around or anything like that. I also promise you we weren't going to grovel on the ground. <laughs> As we were walking through the summer, I spotted something. I thought, I've got to show you this. It's so simple and it's so cool. Suppose you're shooting a portrait of someone. Suppose you're out with your husband, wife, partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be and you wanted to take a really dynamic shot of them. Well, okay, we're walking in a park, we've got this lovely old sort of monument building here, which I'm not altogether sure what it is, but it's lovely. Right, so if you get them to lean against the wall, we've got this strong, strong stone going on here, which can become a leading line in itself. It's all about you moving your camera around. So if your model is leaning against the wall like this, but again, you get down very, very low on the ground with the camera fairly close to the edge of this stonework, you can use this stonework here as a leading line coming up to the face of your model, like that. Okay, so that's not particularly brilliant, but just by asking your model to move very, very slightly, you can convert their body into another leading line. So if I just move myself like that, and then put my arm against the wall and lean in like this, immediately you've got a line coming up where my body is, as well as this stonework. So there you go, it's just another dynamic kind of a shot and you've created two leading lines in one go. Come on, let's go and find what I was going to show you in the first place.